Good morning, TYB family. We have a lot to do today. First thing on the to-do list is to give this car a bath because it just needs a lot of work and we don't like working on dirty cars, but she's not gonna be the main focus today. After the bath, we are going to be starting to unwrap Susie. So this is actually the last time you will see this color. Now, if another company um, that gives a better quality in this color, I will definitely do this again, either on this car not on this car or another car in the future because this is absolutely one of my favorite colors on a car ever i took the gtr out the other day to get some instagram reels and uh, i broke it so the car is broken um as you can see i have the battery disconnected why is the battery disconnected you might ask good question well for some reason in skylines and 240s um there's like a little behind the brake pedal there's like a little plastic tab that tells the brake lights that we're not braking anymore. Well, that little plastic tab in my GTR, well, it disintegrated um, the last time I drove it and the tail lights will not turn off. But the part for that, I already ordered it. It should be here today or tonight. So we'll be able to fix her easily and get her going. And uh, hopefully this wrap isn't too hard to take off. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. Join the TYB family, we lit over here, I promise So we're actually gonna start with taking off the wrap. Um, that car will get a wash later when it's a little bit less hot. And uh, at Walmart, I picked up this little clay bar kit because I'm sure there's gonna be some residue. We're gonna remove it with like Goo Gone or alcohol or something and then clay bar the paint and then give it a quick detail. This isn't the best vinyl wrap that I could have gotten, so it's like a cheaper quality roll. I'm sure it's gonna be hard to take off um, because this is a cheaper roll, so. I'm just, this isn't gonna be fun. Starting it, there's no going back now. <sighs> Look at the white, I miss the white, y'all. I love this color, but her time has come. Why is the camera moving like that? That's weird. Yikes. Damn, my boy really got that tuck. You stop? It's gonna take a long ass time. Cue the time lapse now. Real quick, before the time lapse, it's actually not leaving much residue and it's coming off decent i feel like maybe i should lift the hood up but um i don't know we'll see but yeah enjoy the time lap y'all quick little update um we had to take the hood vents off because obviously the wrap is tucked underneath so it could look clean and not uh, doing that and right now we're really just working on getting the edges like all of these like tucked edges off uh because once we get all the edges the tucked edges off it's coming off really really well surprisingly so we should be able to just pretty much rip it all off and hopefully one piece now completely taken off damn fuck what the damn got knock the fuck out how refreshing it is to see the white back and the paint looks great she probably doesn't really need much uh cleaning off but yo i really miss the white i'm not gonna lie let me see that dj you hear me little update we're getting it going everything is coming off really good like every like all the corners they're not tucked too ridiculously the the um the wrap is like warmed up just enough to where it's not breaking or brittle and uh so far as long as you do it at like the right angle like stuff is just coming right off we even finessed it so we can keep the door handles black we don't have to disassemble anything my goal is really to do as much of this without without disassembling anything besides you know like stuff that we might actually have to like the wing will have to come off but if i don't have to take off any rubbering any door canards you know this you know if i don't have to take that off you know it'd be great but if we have to not that big of a deal but you know the less stuff we have to take off the less risk we run breaking anything and man the silver on the white with the red calipers that still look good 
Your nose fat as shit. Hold on. That Wrap that. Yo, yo. <laughs> Get that yam up your face. Get that vape off your face. We found a good strategy for getting the wrap because it's tucked so deep under the damn uh, rubber trim. And this is a good ass. Yes, sir. We're getting it. You just have to make sure you get a good like chunk so that it, it's kind of lifting it as it's going. And then make when you're pulling it, you got to pull as close to the trim as possible. Because on the other side, we had some minor casualties, meaning um, we left some of the wrap to be desired. So we have some of this still to clean up. And underneath, we got minor casualties. But, oh shoot, I feel like the hardest part of the car might be the roof. If we can't find where it's tucked under, we might have to. Yes, sir, you got it? Yeah. Oh, this stuff is it's coming out so clean y'all like the black door handles though on the white like it just adds that subtle bit of contrast to it it just makes the car pop stop here. I, honestly i might just leave it like that remember um in benton cannonball the fucking i'll show you a picture boom we got a benton super <laughs> Come on, man. Stop playing with a P. Susie's back, y'all. The white looks so clean, bro. Like, it's really making me, like, never want to wrap a car again. Like, just, like, ever. I'm sure I will do it at some point, but, like, it's just, I love clean colors. I love simple colors. Silver, whites, blacks, stuff like that. Very clean, very elegant, very subtle, very demure. Very mindful, very considerate, see how we very demure. <sighs> All right, y'all, quick challenge. The car's coming along really good. We just ordered DoorDash, two carne asada Ritos. It says it'll be here in 40 minutes. And all we have left to do is the roof, the other plastic tab like this, take the wing off and do the trunk. If we can at least get to the trunk with the wing off by the time our burritos get here, success. If not, mission failed. Let's go. Also, since y'all want to call this a BMW, what is that? What is that, huh? What the fuck is that? It's the only one on the car. <laughs> That was 100% the hardest part of the wrap. I don't know if it's because it's a little bit cooler and the wrap, the vinyl is a little bit colder than it was earlier, but uh, boy, that's hard. But yeah, all we have left to do, take the wing off, take that off. Oh, there was a bird in my garage. That's crazy. And that's it, she's back to white, back to paint. We'll wash her up, clay bar, make sure the paint's looking good. We were this close, this close, y'all, to having no issues. And 
I believe we were gonna go through this without anything, but we found a major problem and uh yeah as you guys can see the wrap is peeling up the paint right here so i think what we need to do is stop peeling it from right here and try to peel it this way and uh hopefully we just have minor damage and then maybe some touch-up paint or just get this whole trunk probably repainted when that gets repainted and the front bumper is going to need to be repainted too because there's hella rock chips on it and it's probably been sitting in the sun cooking for the better part of a year all right y'all i kind of got it to where it's at a decent point we have minimal damage you know some touch-up paint should fix that um hopefully stuff here um i did know that the trunk um in certain areas not this area uh had some some paint stuff that we had like installing the wing and the other duck bill had on up here there was some paint stuff that's bad um but definitely not here i don't know why this is happening oh my god bro yeah i don't know who drilled these holes <laughs> but y'all this is some of the paint stuff that i knew about like from us putting on the wing and i don't really care because the wing little carbon bits hold that or cover that so like this little stuff i wasn't tripping about because it gets covered the other stuff is a bit of a pain in the ass I think it's under the emblem. Is it under the emblem? I'm pretty sure. What the fuck? It's definitely under the emblem. All right, y'all, the final touches. We are closing her up. She is officially. Oh, that closed. She is officially unwrapped and back to white. With daylight to spare and with time to spare, our burritos are not here so we beat the challenge officially go ahead and hit that like button hit the subscribe button for the challenge our burritos actually might be pulling up right now yeah y'all here she is the wrap all done bumper oh she needs help i think that's our burritos right on time isn't that some crazy shit challenge complete we beat the delivery man oh yeah one thing i forgot to say is when we were taking the wing off we took off the screw and this one snapped um so that's not good it's a good thing i didn't plan on putting the wing back on i want to take it somewhere or at least try it myself to get it re-cleared because as you can see it's kind of been getting eaten up by the sun and it had, it's starting to yellow a little bit and this is is getting eaten up so i gotta find a safe place to put this and that um but yeah this is how she's gonna sit for now i want to drive <laughs> yeah she kind of i'm kind of digging the no wing look for a little bit it's like a reward this is bossy <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, we have cleared the wrap off the Supra. Susie's nice and white again. And we're about to pull her into the garage and out of the way. wing back on there if you didn't notice the wing wasn't on there 
we're gonna get it cleaned and freshened up and waxed up and then stay tuned for Suzy part wait what is it called Suzy um Suzy version three yeah